Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parts Talk. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. When buying a car, I can't but overemphasize seeking the expert opinion from a mechanic. Yes, some may have more experience than others and some may be a little bit more biased than others, but aren't we all sometimes? With over 3 million views and counting on TikTok, here's what this mechanic has to say. Let's begin. Hey Andy, so if someone's looking for a used vehicle out there, Give me some of your recommendations. Man, you're trying to put me on the spot here. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit of hate from some of our viewers, but from a professional standpoint, if we're talking about pickup trucks, I personally don't think you can go wrong with the F-150 with the five liter. Okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of the EcoBoost. Yes, it makes us a lot of money as technicians, but the five liter has been very dependable for us. Um, we don't see much outside water pump issues on those. Okay. And the comparative one to that is the Toyota Tundra and the Toyota Sequoia. Very good vehicles, especially here in the north. We hardly sell parts for those vehicles, believe it or not. Smaller truck, a smaller compact, Toyota Tacoma. Oh, yeah. However, the manual with the four-cylinder, hmm. those trucks are indestructible. Um, they're used in the desert a lot overseas. Hmm. And there's a reason for that. Kind of hard to find them that way. You got to do some digging, but those are good quality pickup. You always see those trucks on the news, especially in times of war. They're showing them with a ma with a machine gun strapped in the back. Unbelievable, but it is what it is. Trucks. Okay. Um, cars. I'm a Honda guy, so I'm partial here. Yeah. Honda Accord, Honda Civic. I don't think you can find a better, more reliable car. Um, you got some issues with the, the new AC systems on some of the newer Hondas, but yeah. beyond that, I mean, those are great. They've been vehicles. taking care of those, those issues. Exactly. And because they're a mechanic and they understand what issues are, it's very easy for them to get around it because they say, Hey, you drive it for a couple, couple kilometers. This is going to happen. And we already have a fix for it. So there you go. Yes, yeah, they have. Honda yes, has, they have. Uh, and, and we're talking, I mean, all the way back to the early 2000s on the Hondas, right. you know, um, Toyota Camry, you cannot beat Toyota Camrys. Mm. Uh, they ride beautiful. I mean, it's yep. luxury at a discounted price, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, they just, they hold value. They go forever. We just had one in today that had 250,000 miles on it. It's been very well maintained. The car drives better than anything else that was in the shop today. Right, yeah. right. Okay, you know. cool. Um, give me, give me one more bonus one. Bonus, bonus car. I'm going to give you the Harley Davidson of the automotive world, and I'm going to catch some hate here. <laughs> okay, let's They're hear. leakers, right? They leak everywhere, so everybody's probably getting where I'm going with this, but Subaru. Uh, oh, yeah. Subaru in general, that is a go-anywhere vehicle. Right. Um, they do have some issues, don't get me wrong. And very high safety standards, I must admit. But they're dependable. You know, they, they like to leak, especially the earlier versions, but, you know... It, it'll get you through anything, any type of weather. They last forever, especially, again, what our viewers need to understand is I'm kind of biased here. We're living in the southeast. Mm -hmm. So we're not dealing with rust here like we did. I, I came from Chicago, from the Midwest. Yep. A lot of this is biased because we live in the southeast. If we were in the Midwest and I was given this, I might make a few changes here just because of the impact rust has on the vehicles. Exactly, and the environment that which you come from because... In Jamaica, where I grew up, it was always the Toyota Corolla, the Honda Civic, the Nissan Sunny, the Mazdas to throw that in, and the ever-reliable, the Toyota Yaris. Absolute beautiful vehicles to depend on. So, there you have it from the expert himself. And if you have a few you want to throw in there, please, by all means, share them with us in the comment section. Remember to grab a copy of my book, The Parts Manager Guide. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Please smash that like button on your way out. It will only take you 1.5 seconds to do so. Until next time.